Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Vera Singleton. Thanks for joining me today. I have a really important message and I had to share it in this particular setting uh, because this is where I come to de-stress. I'm always taking walks by the water. This is where I come to decompress. So my question is to you, what do you do to decompress? What do you do to unwind and take the stress off of you? Are you exercising? Are you running? Are you on the computer, right? Uh, the key here is that you do something to de-stress because uh, it takes a lot of effort to do what we do, right, as professionals on a day-to-day -day basis. But if you're not taking the time to really decompress and sort of let go of some of that anxious work energy that other people have or that's associated with deadlines, right? You just get caught up in that stress and you bring that stress home. And guess what? It translates into your body. So, you know, I'll give you a perfect example. Yeah, I had a client who came in today, as a matter of fact, with chronic headaches and she's had headaches for years and we've been working on her diet, et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, I said to her, you, you just, there has to be something physical going on, right? What's at the root of this? And, and, and this is exactly the message that I want to bring to you is, uh, are you being mindful about your body? Are you being mindful about the food that you're putting into your body? The type of food, the time of day that you eat it, the quality of the food that you eat, right? All of these things play into your performance. And what I do is help professionals who are experiencing body symptoms, either hormonal changes or gas and bloating pain, that kind of thing. I, I help them to break through that so that they can up level, so they can be the best version of themselves. And it really takes you to be mindful, right? To get out of these everyday habits that we just do just because and do something different. And a lot of people don't like change. You know, I don't either. I won't change if I don't have to. But when you're not experiencing the kind of results and performance that you want, you have to really look at what you're doing differently. Olympic runners, Olympic athletes do this. Professional athletes do this, right? They're always looking at their performance, how they perform. You know, are they running? How, how they, can they improve their stride? How can they improve, you know, the quality of their lift, right? All of these things that you need to do on an everyday basis can be a little tiring, don't get me wrong, but if you're looking to get a different result with your body, you have to come out and come out of the normal mundane routines that you do. Uh, that could mean a change of diet. That could mean doing intermittent fasting. That could mean you know, eating more fiber into your diet. That could mean pooping, for God's sakes, on a day-to-day -day basis, right? <laughs> that could mean coming out and being with nature or doing whatever you do to de-stress. So this is the important point here, right? Number one, get mindful about your life, the habits that you have, and is that contributing to something that you're experiencing, pain or discomfort? And this could be mental, emotional, or physical, right? Uh, and the second thing is to just do it, take the action to actually do it. Um, and that's kind of why I'm doing this video, right? I'm taking the action to number one, share this message with you, but number two, um, to really bring to you a different level of healing, right? This uh, being mindful is just as important, probably more so important to do uh, than to take prescriptions or to take supplements or you know, whatever that might be. And that's why practices of meditation and yoga can be really, really important because it takes you outside of the mundane routines that we have and it brings you back to what's important and that's being present with yourself and present with your body. So I just wanted to share this with you and thank you again for watching. This is the, actually going to be the last video in my video series. And of course, I'm going to ask you uh, that uh, I'm in the running for best doctor, eastbayexpress.com backslash best of is how you vote. But the East Bay Express, uh, I'm, I'm nominated for best doctor. And I would love if you could cast your vote for me. If you've loved these videos, obviously like it. But if you really have been inspired by something I've said over the past couple of weeks, um, then cast your vote for me. And like I said, eastbayexpress.com backslash best of. And, or you could just go to eastbayexpress.com and then the best of, you know, decal is there. 
Um, and you could just click through and then look for me, Dr. Vera Singleton, in the category of best doctor. I'm all the way towards the end of the survey. And by the way, it ends this week. So I would appreciate if you feel inspired that you could vote for me. And that's it. I thank you so much for being on this journey with me. And uh, I really appreciate you giving me the, the ability to share my knowledge and my love for the medicine that I practice. Take care, guys. Have a good one. Bye.